All right, the next project we have is uh, replacing and diagnosing your oil pressure sensor. Uh, we were noticing on our gauges on this boat that the oil pressure was rising and falling even with steady RPM and then it would just bob up and down and it didn't seem realistic or correct. So uh, after some diagnosing, it sounded like the oil pressure sensor need to be replaced. It's a pretty cheap, easy part. So uh, we went ahead and ordered that part and on Amazon again, I'll show you uh, where and a link in the description and then I want to show you how to test these these should be 240 ohms uh, when there's no pressure applied to them so we'll just put our multimeter in the correct position and put one lead in the front and one lead on the back and you should get a steady 240 ohms and as you can see in this video the readings were all over the place sometimes it would shoot up high drop back down and so that is why our oil pressure sensor was bobbing up and down. So your oil pressure sensor is located on the bottom side of your engine. Uh, you're going to want an open-ended wrench. I was trying with this crescent wrench and it was a struggle to reach the bolt. Uh, so either an open-ended wrench or I just went for some pliers because it wasn't torqued on very hard Sorry for the Sun right into your eyes here So we'll just loosen that up and then you can pretty much just spin it off by hand There is an electrical connection on the back of it. You can see I've already removed that it's just a plug-and-play and then get a, a small box uh, with some paper towels ready because as you unscrew it you could get a gulp of oil coming out Mine didn't have any but you want to be prepared for that and here is the bad sensor So we have our new one from Amazon $32 and There's some disagreement whether you need Teflon tape or not. I use Teflon tape, but it may block your electrical connection so if you're having issues you might want to remove the Teflon and use something different. I used Teflon and it's still grounded fine in the connection. I had no issues. Now on this boat I did have some access issues trying to get that open-ended wrench in the right spot so you'll have to pull those wires up and just go one baby turn at a time until you can get the sensor back into place. All right, now that we have the sensor all back on, we'll put our electrical connections back in place. And time to fire up the boat and make sure there's no leaks and the oil pressure gauge is working again. All right, everything is looking normal and we're getting water out of the exhaust pipe from the fake lake system and no leaks in the engine base. So it looks like we're done with this one. All right, guys, that's the end of this episode of Fix It with Jake. If you liked it, please take the time to subscribe on the icon here and give us a thumbs up. If there is a specific topic you would like covered, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Until next time, we'll see you later.